We are back with one of our favorite segments where we get a little adventurous. It's called Try This Today. This morning, we are exploring new ways to jazz up your next barbecue or your backyard party. Bon Appetit and Epicurious contributor Mackenzie Chung Fagan is here to show us the twist on some old summer favorites. Good morning, Mackenzie. Good morning. And before we start, I just want to point out that your baby is due on Chanel's oh my, all the son's birthday. birthday. That's right. August 27th. A lucky day. It's a lucky oh, day. And we're also for birthdays. Yes. So we're okay. just vibing this morning. What are we starting with? Yeah. Okay, so we are going to show you an ingredient for a homemade barbecue sauce that you can find on bonappetit.com or the Epicurious app. The secret ingredient is fig jam. Oh. And the chef, Tanya Holland was inspired by her grandmother's homemade fig jam that she would make in Louisiana. But you don't have to make your own. You can just get whatever fig jam is at the grocery store. Yeah. We've Thank got it you. on chicken. We've got it on cauliflower. But it's great. Oh, wait. So you buy the jam. You buy you the jam. The and sauce. then, you know, there's a recipe with, oh. like, apple cider vinegar, uh, onion, mustard, a whole bunch of other things. If but the fig jam is really the secret weapon. So, because we saw it was on chicken, and I don't eat poultry. And so then I, you said you could use it on cauliflower, cauliflower tofu. tofu. Mm. Exactly. Or Wherever you would use, exactly. There does, there is a little bit of kick from um, chipotle peppers mm, as well. That's good. It's a great yeah. recipe. Wow. I'm just going to okay. go for it. All right, so next. We have a beverage over here. So this is the time of year mm. when I get a little ambitious at the farmer's market and I end up buying too many berries, okay. and then I don't know what to do with them. So if your berries are on the are on the verge of turning, you can make a shrub, which is a drinking vinegar. Very simple. You're just going to mix it with some sugar, vinegar, and let it sit. So this is what it looks like when sugar you combine it. That's right. Oh. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. So this is just topped up with seltzer, but you can also use it as a cocktail. I was going to say, can you spike mm. it? Yes, definitely. Oh, it's mm. good. Mm. It, it has like an apple cider vinegary. This is delicious. Exactly. Sweet. Yeah, it's really, it's like a acidic. kombucha. Yes. Exactly. If you like kombucha, kombucha you will love this. And you can do it with any fruit, berries, stone wow, fruit, really rhubarb. Good. Straws are so cute with little okay. strawberries right? on them. Okay. All right, so now, I guess if you yeah. always go for the ketchup bottle, maybe you want to shake it up a little bit, right? That's right. So this is going to punch up America's favorite condiment. Yum. Okay. This is ketchup, and the secret ingredient in this one is amba, which is a pickled wow, mango. I've heard of that. It's popular across I'll the Middle fry. East yeah, and India. Too. So I'll it's just a, a heaping tablespoon of meat. amba, tahini, and a little bit of harissa in amba. regular ketchup. Where do you find amba? You can find it online. You can find it at a Middle Eastern grocery, mm. an Asian grocery. Kind of got a curry flavor to it. Oh, I so like it. Good. Right? That is a little good. bit of spice. Guys, Amba. That's good. That's right. Padam, Padam, how would you, and Amba. <laughs> how would you describe this? What would you I say? I would say it's got a curry flavor, like an Indian That's... spicy ketchup. I would situation. say it's super delicious. Very yeah. simple. Super Punch it up. Good. Give it a little bit of Middle Eastern flair. I would it. put that on so many things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> eggs. Favorite so far. Eggs. Mm. Okay. So a backyard cookout is not that complete is really without good. potato salad, but yes. often it's a little bit bland, mm -hmm. right? But we have a recipe for spicy Caesar potato salad. And with this, we are using a spicy Calabrian chili paste. This mm. one's from Trader Joe's. It's called Italian Bomba Sauce. Oh, you can yeah. use any type of Calabrian mm. chili paste. Okay. And when you combine it with other Caesarous ingredients like anchovies and garlic, like it makes for a super flavorful potato salad. Oh my God. Chanel has eaten so good? many no. different things mm. today. Listen, if my grandmother, if you could just hear her in Wichita right now, she's so over me. I had ice cream cone this morning. We had hot dogs. We had it's skirt a good day. with Carson. It's a good day. And now it's 9.53. Right. <laughs> and I, seriously, I'm going to try this You guys have a good here. job. Okay. That, that is phenomenal. You can find the whole recipe on bonappetit.com or the Curious yeah. app. Take that one Take out. What else you. do you do with it? Oh, you can put it on can eggs, it pasta? much the same as chili crisp. Okay. Yeah, mm. pasta, yes. absolutely. You know what's great about all these? You can use it on a bunch of different things. Yeah, exactly. It's not specific to yes. something. All right, last but not least. We are on to dessert. So this is a strawberry and Campari sorbet. Mm. Okay. The bitterness of the Campari goes really nicely with the strawberries. And as an added bonus, because of the alcohol content, oh, it is you alcohol? don't, it is, yes, this is an adult sorbet. Oh, okay. You okay. don't need an ice cream machine. Mm. So you're just going to freeze it right in a loaf pan, and it's going to remain scoopable. Mm. Is this, this is really? delicious. Yeah, it's Wait, like a sorry. frozen cocktail. Right, but is it um, raspberries or well, strawberries? Is it a kick? Is, you yeah. know? is, it, <laughs> no, is, it, is it very spiked? I mean, what's the. Like, it's not super no. spiked, no. Wow, but it, really does, it does allow it to freeze a little bit softer. So normally, you know, you have to get the ice cream machine and spin it that way, but this just freezes no, in a pan. Everything really is a home run. Pour that in a pan. You mix it with the strawberries, with the strawberries. a little right. lemon juice, sugar. And boom. Yes. And boom. Seriously. Well, I, I, this I'm, is delicious. No. Mackenzie, thank crazy. you. That was so amazing. Good. Thank, thank you. Congratulations. You so we thank hope you. to see you soon. Hope you get some good recipes at your next barbecue. Yeah. And yes.